What is up guys, it's AJ here and today I'm back with movie reviews. I want to be reviewing the new sci-fi epic Star Trek Beyond and man did this movie blow my mind. First off, Star Trek Beyond stars Chris Pine, Zoe Saldana, Zachary Quinto, John Cho, Anton Yelchin, uh, who else is there? There's Sophia Batella. Idris Elba, just a whole slew and plethora of amazing actors in one movie. And I'm a big fan of the original J.J. Abrams Star Trek film, Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness. Now, I haven't seen the original Star Trek movies or the original show um, from before the 2000s, but this movie actually was so good that it makes me want to go back and watch those. So let's dive right into this review. First off, it's directed by Justin Lin, who also directed some of the Fast and Furious films. And I gotta tell you, he did a great job with direction in this movie. The action scenes are shot beautifully. They're so awesome and so fun. And it, it just makes it more of a summer popcorn film that you go and see with friends and have an amazing time at. Also, the story was very simple in this one. In the first two films, you kind of have a hard time understanding some of the villain motives and stuff and some of what's going on. This is a very simple movie. It's about a crew whose ship gets hijacked and they're st all stranded, they're lost from each other, and there's a guy who wants a piece of information from the Enterprise. I'm talking like that because I'm, I'm trying to show you how simple it is even if it wasn't a Star Trek movie. It's just a fun movie that you can understand and it's it's still an awesome movie, although it's simple. The characters were actually my favorite part of this movie. There's a sense of com camaraderie on the Enterprise, and everyone's just there having a fun time. They all have great chemistry, especially Captain Kirk, played by Chris Pine, and Spock, played by Zachary Quinto. They have amazing chemistry. And this movie, we get to see Spock and Bones together a lot more. Carl Urban, just great as Bones. Just great. He's so funny. And Spock and Bones just play off of each other so well. And it was so fun when they're on screen. It was probably some of the best parts of the movie. And I just love that sense of camaraderie between the whole crew. Anton Yelchin, who sadly passed away so soon this past month, was also very, very good as uh, Mr. Chekhov. Uh, Sophia Batella as Jayla, the new character in this movie, is amazing. And... When we saw her in Kingsman the Secret Service, uh, who has spider legs or whatever her name was, she was pretty good, but she, we didn't, she didn't really have a talking role, so we didn't really see how she would do in like a regular role, but she was amazing, her character was awesome, and she kicked total ass. And from the show, I thought that character was going to be just some silent badass, but she actually had an emotional core, and we got into that a little bit more. Also, the dialogue is so well written. I'm so glad they chose Simon Pegg to co-write the script, and he did actually did a great job. I didn't know Simon Pegg could actually be an amazing writer, and he also did a great job as Scotty, as he usually does. Scotty is probably one of the best characters in Star Trek, and yeah, he did an amazing job of acting and writing. Like I said before, every scene in this movie is utter fun. The action scenes are just so well shot, so uh, on the edge of your seat with that, you know, tension running through you and that adrenaline rush that you get when you're watching an amazing action scene. It was Some of the scenes in this movie were just so fun, and they're a very, you know, extended action sequences. So they last for a very long time. I thought it was really cool because we just get to see a long, like, 15-minute sequence of shooting and stuff. It was just awesome, especially, especially the last two action scenes of the movies. No spoilers, but they are amazing se sequences that you would not want to get up to go pee for. They are just probably the best scenes of the entire movie. I, I absolutely loved all of the action in this movie. I loved all of the dialogue. The comedy is really, really good. There are parts where I, where I chuckled a lot, and that's not something you get usually from a sci-fi movie a lot, but I just love the mix of the action and the comedy. There was a lot more comedy in here than you would expect, especially more than the last two films. Although I loved the action and comedy and so many other things about this movie, there were a few problems I had with it. One of them was the characters of Ahura and Sulu, played by Zoe Saldana and John Cho, were very, like, just, they weren't in the movie enough. And 
Asulu has never really played a big character in the last two films, but Ahura kind of d has. I wanted to see more of them. I love Sulu, played by John Cho. He's a really cool character, and I like Ahura, so I want to see more of them. Another major problem I had with this movie was the villain, played by Idris Elba. His name is Crawl. Now, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I'll explain to you basically what, what it is. So, Crawl is this guy who... I'm not gonna, oh, it's really hard not to spoil it. He leads this race of aliens kind of in a way, and he wants a piece of technology that's on the Enterprise, and as a result, he takes half the Enterprise so that he can get his piece of technology, and his motives were very weird and hard to figure out. His character was barely on screen. Um, you don't see much of him, but just parts where like he's just missing from the movie, and you totally forget about his character. And by the end of the movie, he kind of becomes a laughing stock because it's just kind of a retarded character that I've seen so many times. It just seems so ridiculous. That it's like it's almost you almost want to laugh at it at this point because it's just such an overused trope to just by the end of the movie just not know what their motive is and they're just like and they're just like really stupid and then the hero is just overpowering them so much. And it was just just so like weird and really like stupid and it was just such a weirdly handled character. And by the end of the movie, I was just like, okay, he's not really a villain. He's just like, orba dorba dorba, I'm a bad guy. No, you're me wrong. I love Idris Elba, and this is not his fault. But he just his presence was not felt in this movie enough, and. This, there's a plot twist having to do with him at the end of the movie. It's very weird and hard to understand that I, I had to ask my mom about this. So, like, it was just really weird the way they did his character. That was probably the biggest problem I had with the movie because when you have a villain that's not strong, it feels like there's no villain. He didn't even feel like the villain in this movie. The villain was wasn't even a person. It kind of felt like felt like the villain was that they could, that members of the Enterprise couldn't get to each other. That's what it felt like the actual antagonist was, which is a big problem when you have an actual tangible human being as a well in this case not a human being but a person as a villain. So that was the big major problem I had with the movie. But anyway, overall, I love Star Trek Beyond. It's definitely the best movie of the summer so far. And it will be in my top 10 best movies of the year. I can almost guarantee it. Unless we get like 20 more amazing movies soon that uh, that outdo it somehow. But it's a funny, action-packed movie that deals with actual, you know, themes like love and friendship. And I love the way they executed it. Justin Lin did a great job with directing it. Simon Pegg did a great job with, with, great job with writing it. Everyone gave a great performance. Everyone did their part. And that's why I'm going to give Star Trek Beyond an A. I highly recommend seeing it, if, especially if you're a fan of the Star Trek universe. If you like the first la last two films, then you will love Star Trek Beyond. It's definitely my favorite out of the last two. I'm, and within the next week, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go see the original Star Trek movies. And I'm going to start watching the original series. Now, it really got me into it that much and I haven't been affected by that even by the first Star Trek from 2009 or Star Trek Into Darkness. But And this is definitely the best movie out of the J.J. Abrams, Justin Lin tr trilogy and I absolutely loved it. Anyway guys, you can hit me up on Instagram at underscore AJ Aaron. And on Snapchat, AJ.Benzikan. And on Twitter, at AJ Movie Freak. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for a review of Lights Out, the new horror film by David F. Sandberg. And if you like this video, go check out my channel. Watch my past videos. Please like this video. Leave a comment. Share it with your friends on all social media platforms. And, as always, subscribe for more.